Hey there, it's Heather Hakes. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to upgrade your mindset because your mind is the cause of every effect in your life. So when you start here, that's how you change every aspect of your life. Before we dive into today's video, I wanna offer you a free video training on how to reprogram your subconscious mind. You can find this on my website, heatherhakes.com. All right, let's dive in. How do you upgrade your mindset? I want you to think of your mind as a garden. The thoughts you think are the seeds you plant and ultimately you reap what you sow. You have heard this before, but guess what? If you're currently stuck in any area of your life, if you're unhappy or unfulfilled in your health, your finances, relationship, career, work, this, it doesn't matter the area of life. We call that a condition. If you are dissatisfied with any area of your life, it's not about efforting and struggling and strategizing and trying to fix the external. It's an inside job. And that's what I wanna help you do. This is about shifting your paradigm. If you are new to this work, a paradigm is simply, think of it like your internal operating system, your mental programming. So where you're currently at, think of that as version 1.0. I, I have an iPhone myself and I think, what's the iPhone on? I just did a phone upgrade. I think it was like version 15 point something. Isn't that crazy to think that how often are our phones updated, but when is the last time you updated your mindset, your mental programming? That's what you're going to learn today. So here's what I want you to do. You have to understand where you're starting from. So that's step number one. You have to become aware. In order to create any change in your life, you have to first know where you're starting. And I want you to be brutally honest with yourself. This is self-introspection, it's self-awareness, but you have to understand who you have been, your state of being, which is how you think and feel. So for example, money's the easiest one to talk about. If you currently have a, a certain income for easy numbers, let's say you're making $5,000 a month, but you want to make 20 grand a month. Let's say you have your own business and maybe you have the opportunity that how much you are efforting or selling or whatever it may be, then your income would increase. So if you're currently making $5,000 in your business, but you want a $20,000 a month lifestyle, there's a gap, right? Not only is there a $15,000 gap, there's going to be a difference in these two business owners. So as an example, let's say the $5,000 a month business owner, inconsistent, maybe is only working part-time, has a lot of self-doubt, procrastination, only shows up when they feel like it, isn't unsure, maybe doesn't have clarity. You can see where I'm getting at, right? There's not consistency. There's not confidence. There's not showing up no matter what. There's not a clear vision. Somebody who's making $20,000 a month has confidence, they, they have belief in what they're doing, they have a vision, they have forward focus, they have consistency, maybe there's strategy and structure in place. They're moving forward, maybe it's just one step at a time, but think about it like this, if you just show up 1% better every single day, how much different would you be at the end of the month? How much different would you be three months from now? Just 1% better. So that's why you don't need to make a quantum leap in this moment. That's why a big, hairy, audacious goals, AKA a new year's resolution, most people fail because they try to go from zero to 90 overnight. This takes consistency. This is repetition. This is showing up every single day. So let's get back to the example. $5,000 a month, $20,000 a month. It is possible if you believe it is. So I want you to think of right here, right now, get clear, who have you been? What are your beliefs? What are your thoughts? What are your habits? Who have you been being? And it's not all bad, but you've got to find those gaps. You've got to find the self-sabotage cycles where you feel unworthy, not enough. You've got to find those. Then you've got to get crystal clear on this desire that you want. If it's money, if it's home, if it's a person, if it's an experience, 
Who do you need to show up as? And there's going to be a difference. Then get clear on this. This is what I call version 2.0. Get clear. This version 2.0 of you making $20,000 a month, how would you be thinking and being? Maybe are you getting up every single day at 5 a.m. and doing a meditation practice and writing a daily intention so you have forward focus and clarity for the day? Then maybe are you doing yoga or movement, going to the gym, going for a run, getting yourself in the right frequency, energy, space. Then you take on your day. Do you see how mindset is everything? That when you start within, then you take aligned action. This isn't about hustle and grinding and making things happen because that actually creates resistance. And resistance is that internal tug of war of doubt and I can do it or that you know, sometimes I call it a roller coaster. Sometimes I call it the cha-cha. You know, you get like two steps forward and another step back and it's this vicious cycle. This is how you cancel all of that out. Keep it simple, right? Kiss, keep it simple, sweetheart. Keep it simple, silly. I remember that from math in elementary school. Keep it simple. So get clear. What is this desire that you want in life? Who do you need to show up as? And then how can you become mindful and intentional every single day by putting these rituals and practices into play, by doing the internal, the mindset work, becoming mindful and intentional, clear, having those beliefs, creating that energy because we live in an energetic universe. You are an energetic being and your thoughts and your feelings, literally you are creating your own field of vibration. Let's get into the law of attraction from there. Law of attraction simply states like attracts like. Let's go back to the example. A $5,000 person who's inconsistent is putting out static, right? So they're only going to be able to get back something that mirrors a $5,000 person. But somebody who's showing up differently, this confidence and the belief and doing the work consistently and creating these new habits and repetition, reprogramming your subconscious mind, that person has a completely different energy and frequency and they're going to be attracting, maybe it's higher paying clients or more offers, or it's just going to be coming effortless because you're in flow. That's what's possible for you. So your takeaway from today's lesson is this. Awareness is key, step number one. You need to become aware where you starting, where are you currently at. Then you get clear, what is it that you want and how would you need to be showing up? Write out those traits, those behaviors, those characteristics, the thoughts, get clear on that. And then step number three is creating these daily morning rituals to start reprogramming your mind, creating these new habits, and then watch everything unfold. Thank you for watching to today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you're the first to know when new videos drop. And be sure to give me a thumbs up. I'll catch you on the next one.